Hello, welcome to my channel, Deborah Xfart here. Today I'm going to be um, trying to make some Franken stencils inspired by PM Artist Studios and some other people. I'll list their descriptions below. So uh, when you order stencils from PM Artist Studios, you can ask for the inner bits and they'll usually send you the outer bits of the stencils. So for example, like you can see, this is a butterfly. So these are the outer bits. And then I have a bunch of different stencils where I was, I got like the inner bits. So they do put them in a nice little bag so that you can keep them together. So I'm gonna try to piece together a, a stencil. And this is a good way of using uh, stencils. These are made from Yupo paper. They work great on the jelly plate. Um, once they're colorized, you can also incorporate them into your own collage too. So I'm not sure what direction I'm going. I'm kind of drawn to the jellyfish outers uh, as a starting point, but we'll see where we end up. So I'll probably put this on fast forward and show you my little play session, and then um, we'll try them out on the jelly plate.
here we have our Franken stencil. Just a very abstract piece. So let's try it and see how it looks. Unfortunately, I missed recording this step, but basically I let that paint dry and then I applied some pan pastel, a light pink, and then a like magenta color directly onto the surface. And then I used a dark blue around the edges. And since this is a dry medium, we don't have to wait for it to dry. It's ready to be picked up with the acrylic paint. So there's our first print from my first Franken stencil. It's a little different. Actually, it kind of reminds me of a fish. I don't know what it reminds you of, but like a beta fish, an alien beta fish, perhaps. Like there's his eyeball. That's some sort of weird gill or something. So I think it's kind of cool. I like it. I'll probably play some more. So here I didn't quite put enough paint on, um, so in this case it's best just to let it dry. And this is a nice translucent paint anyhow, so I let it dry fully and then I'm putting on a second coat. And I'm going to pick it up on some black paper um, to really get the shine from this paint.
Here's our prints from this session. This is the first one. Here's the one that we use the uh, color shift pastel green over the gold. And on this uh, black paper, it came out looking very purple. I like that a lot. This was the last one we did. I think that's pretty cool. It can go different ways. I don't know which way you like it better. I don't think I like it that way, but I like it better like this. I think that's kind of cool. And I like it like that. Uh, this one, we just added a glaze over top. Very subtle, which is just on tissue. You could um, glue that down and then you could doodle over top. Or I could even glue this down onto a canvas and then glue the stencil on top, sort of offset. That would be kind of cool. These were um, from the back side, like you can see on the stencil. This is the side without the tape that I have put on the plate mostly. So when I picked up directly on here, you can see the tape marks, but I don't mind it. This is the one that we used the um, iridescent bronze fine and we spritzed it with water and we did a quick pickup. I think that one's quite cool and uh, this one we play with quite a bit a few different layers to get this final print and again it's the back side that you can see you can see the the, the tape but I don't mind that comment below let me know which print you liked I hope you um, give this Franken stenciling a try this uh, is the first one I've ever done, and I didn't really have a concept or an idea in mind, but you could probably, you know, use your imagination to think of something. Maybe you want to make a turtle or a flower. Um, just whatever uh, your imagination um, brings you to. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.